We're doing a, a demonstration of how to do a 3D video and we're using a Minaru 3D cam webcam which is a new product that has two lenses that are side by side. They're about two and a half inches apart which is the same distance that your eyes are. So the idea is the camera with the two lenses duplicates your eyes and then with the assistance of software filtering for two different colors it will give you the 3D effect which will give you a realistic looking effect. Now the glasses that you need to use in 3D are two colors. On the left lens is a red filter and on the right is what they call cyan which is a basically blue green a very light blue in fact it all by coincidence it kind of matches the sweatshirt here but that's a, that's the kind of filter you need to, or glasses you need to to have and you can make these just get yourself some red and cyan cellophane and tape them to some regular glasses or uh, tape them uh, take some old sunglasses and 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 take out the uh, lenses and put the cellophane over it or you can get free ones from uh, several places on the internet. One place I found is called rainbowsymphony.com. They're in California and they just ask you to send them a stamped envelope and they'll send you out a free pair of glasses. Make sure you get the red and cyan, however, because they do come in other colors. But the only ones that will work are the red and cyan. Alright, so basically what you have to do to set up your 3D webcast or your 3D video is you want to measure out your distances because you've got to set your focusing on the camera just precisely to get the right effect. So what I've done is I've basically set up this telescope which is about six and a half feet from the 3D camera. The back wall is another six feet so you have about thirteen and a half feet. Now the idea is in 3D you want to avoid what they call ghosting which is an effect where you see two colors at once and you want to try to avoid that. So I set up the camera so the focus is halfway in between the front of the telescope and the wall. So it's, it's about in here. And when I turn on the 3D you'll see the effect where the, the, the telescope will be in the foreground and I'll be basically in the middle or in the foreground and then the wall is in the background. All right, so here we go with 3D. If you got your 3D glasses, you can put those on. And I'll put them on just for the, the fun of it, so you can see uh, they look a little goofy or fashionable, depending on your fashion taste. All right, so here we go with the 3D. All right, so once again, the front of this telescope is, is focused for the front of the 3D plane, and then the back wall is for the back, so the I've got it focused about in the middle, just about where I'm standing. Now you can probably notice that I stick out from that wall and the camera or the telescope should stick out a little bit from me. So you'll be able to see that effect there. The 3D effect. Now I'll show you what happens if you try to get too close or out of that plane, you'll start seeing a little ghosting effect. So if I move my hand a little closer to the camera you'll see a slight bit of red or green, red or cyan on the fingers. And I'll do that again so if you got your 3D glasses on you can see. Well if you don't have 3D glasses on you'll actually see the red and cyan all the time. But if you got your glasses on you'll see a little bit of ghosting on my finger as it goes nearer the camera. Now as I step back into the plane, all that will disappear. And then you should be getting a little better 3D effect because I'm not really too close to that camera, how I set it up. And I'll go back a little farther and see if you can still see the, the 3D effect. Move the telescope so it's parallel now with the two lenses. And then I'll move it 
so it's sticking out a bit. All right, and then I'll bring my hand out a little bit and see if you can tell the difference between where my hand is and where the telescope is and then where my body is. And then another effect you can do, which is kind of impressive looking, but you'll see it, you, you take a stick and you start moving it into the camera. And it kind of looks like it's popping out at you. And that's kind of the effect you see in a lot of 3D movies where they'll have an object appear to come out into the audience or come out into the screen. Now you'll notice on the very tip you're going to have a little bit more ghosting on there because it's actually a little too closer than I've set up the 3D camera for. So anyway, there's a uh, example of how to broadcast 3D video. And of course I'm broadcasting live on justin.tv slash kq4ym and I'm doing this every day so stop by and see me if you see this on YouTube and uh, yeah, try it out. The, the cameras you can get them on Amazon for around seventy eighty dollars and uh, they're a lot of fun to play around with and you can do live broadcasts like I'm doing or you can email your friends a 3D movie uh, so you can, it's kind of unlimited what you can do with it, but uh, try to follow the directions, I, the hints I've given you on setting up the camera to get your best results. All right, we'll switch back to uh, 2D so you can see the difference here. All right, now we're back into 2D. You also notice the width of view is a little larger on the, the 2D. I think they set up the, the 3D camera to, to narrow it down a little bit because you do have two lenses that are two and a half inches apart. So if you get them too wide of an angle, they're going to start crisscrossing in the vision portion of the physics of it. So, so that's, I think, one of the reasons they have a little s smaller width on the 3D, but it's, it's still very effective, of course. So, all right, so I'm Don Brown. See you on the web.